Hello! Hello and good morning, everyone. It is super early, at least for me. Uh, <laughs> not used to getting up quite this early. We are waiting for the pre-roll ad to run, and then we're going to get started with the video games, man. Uh, we ended up rolling Dirge of Cerberus as today's game, which I'm actually pretty excited for. I have beaten this game, but it's been a while, to say the least. It's probably been, I don't know, I want to say I beat it when I was like 16-ish, give or take. So like 13 years or something like that since I've played this one. It's been a long time. One of the neat things I do remember about it, if, if memory serves, is that you can actually use a keyboard and mouse with this game if you have like the fat PS2 with the USB slots on it. That's pretty neat. You know, and I kind of wish I could use a keyboard and mouse with it because I'm mainly a PC gamer. So for a shooter especially, that would be really cool. But I don't have that sort of capability set up right now to try. But anyway, still, it's neat that they took the time to, to add that in. Uh, I'm not sure how well it works. It could work like ass because, like I said, I've never tried it. I just remember seeing uh, an option for it in the game or something like that. We'll check it out once we get into the game. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's a thing, though. Um, obviously, part of the Final Fantasy VII universe. It takes place after Final Fantasy VII. I'm not sure if it takes if it's before or after the movie, though. Final Fantasy seven games timeline there's someone's had to have made like a timeline for all of them right uh so first soldier uh da -da -da -da, before crisis crisis core last order classic takes the advent children before crisis crisis core then Last Order, then Final Fantasy VII, and then Advent Children, and then Dirge of Cerberus. Okay. So Dirge of Cerberus is, uh, like, the, the, the last in the timeline? I don't know, man. I think so. I, I, I That sounds right to me. Uh, obviously, you play as a Vincent. I mean, it, it may be obvious to you. But from the from the little cutscene there in the beginning, I would say it's pretty obvious he plays Vincent, someone who didn't get a whole lot of explanation or anything in Final Fantasy VII proper. But a lot of characters really, or I'm sorry, a lot of players really seem to enjoy. I know I definitely liked Vincent a lot. He was just a very mysterious character, you know. He he, you get him from a freaking casket under one of the mansions and it's like it's just weird man really weird character but really neat this mode offers balanced gameplay and difficulty appropriate for players with little action game experience refined combat skills will be required for this mode featuring intensified battles and increasingly powerful enemies recommended for players with extensive fps experience yeah if i was playing on pc we would probably go for hard mode but i think i think we're just gonna have to go with normal man because I've played a fair bit of FPS in my day, but uh, not with a controller, not in a long, long time. So I don't, I don't expect this to, to turn out too well. We'll stick with normal for now. I don't remember if there's a way to change difficulty like mid-game. If there is, that would be cool, because we could potentially, you know, set it up, move it up a little bit later, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to work out or not. We'll see. We'll see. If this game ever saves. I still haven't swapped my memory cards around, so my official ones in first slot, and then uh, aftermarket's in slot two. I, I need to do that one of these days, man. So I think if I did that, it wouldn't take so long to save. I, I think it's some sort of problem with the aftermarket one making this happen all the time. Either that or my memory of when I was younger saving games is just way off, because... <laughs> It doesn't feel like it should take quite this long to make a save game, you know? Come on now, game. Any moment now. You got this. You just got to give it some positive feedback. Go over there. Just just rub my PS2 a little bit. Just give it some. Give it some love. While we're waiting on this for a year, I'm going to pull out the manual. 
and see if it has anything interesting. Oh, never mind. There we go. Commencing setting configuration setting. <laughs> okay. Uh, subtitles on. Speaker's name on. Vertical inverted horizontal normal camera. Wait, what? Toggle screen and vertical sight movement. What's the difference between camera and sight? Uh, I don't know. The sight will be drawn to close by target. Oh. Okay, so like this is this is uh, aim assist basically. We'll leave it on on sem semi the the middle setting. Complete setting configuration and proceed. You're out of gas, dude. How? I've never met someone run out of gas as much as you have. How are you out of gas? <laughs> Do you, is your gas gauge broken in your car? Do you have someone bringing you gas or something? Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> Starting the fragment program? I'm sure that's fine. That won't cause any problems for anyone, right? Uh, I was looking at the... I was looking at the, the booklet, and sure enough, there is full keyboard and mouse support. Even with, like, WASD for movement, which is nice, instead of, you know, the arrow keys, there's mouse aiming. I kind of wish I had an extra keyboard and mouse that I could plug in and move over. Because that would be really cool, man. <laughs> if we ever end up playing through this game in entirety on stream, that's definitely how we're gonna we're going to attempt to do it. I'm going to grab, because I do have, like, an extra keyboard and mouse laying around. I just don't have it available to me at the moment. You know so, what I mean? We meet again. Lucrezia. I'm the one who should apologize. Free 
three weeks ago, our crew left for Midgar. However, the group's whereabouts still remain unknown. What really happened down there? Tonight, for the first time, we bring you the final transmission received before all contact was lost. For the past three years, this door has remained sealed. However, that seal is about to be broken. There are no records of this place located deep beneath the Shinra building, another of the company's secrets revealed recently. According to investigative reports, Kinda there quiet. is evidence that thousands of people were once transported here. If rumors of the Shinra company conducting human experiments are true, then this may be where those nefarious deeds were carried out. To bring you this exclusive footage, Channel 7 News has teamed up with volunteer organizations... Hey, it's a party! I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong in the middle of a party, right? Dude, Square Enix games look so good. <laughs> like, they just do. Like, it's realistic, but not like... I don't know, it, it aged well realistic though. Like, it, it's just the right mix of stylization and realism. I mean, I know this is all pre-rendered, so... They had more uh, ability to 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 make it look how they wanted, you know, less limitations on the console. It was more just a limitation on what they wanted to do style-wise, and uh, how large of video files they wanted for the for the game. But you know, oh look, <laughs> the party of people is being attacked by mysterious soldier things. Like I said. Nothing could possibly go wrong in the middle of a party. But anyways, like I was saying, they just, I don't know, it just looks really good, man. Hopefully, since they seem to be remaking all of the uh, Final Fantasy games, I, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll get around to Dirge of Cerberus here soon. They're doing Crisis Core right now, and that's coming out for, like, all major consoles. That's really cool, man. I'm excited for that one, because I feel like Crisis Core didn't get nearly the love that it should have. I mean, there's a Cerberus for that matter. It's got issues, don't get me wrong, but it's still an interesting game. You're out of gas and lost your car key. Wait, I, I still, you still never answered. Are you at home? Are you like out on the streets? How did you, cause like if you lost your car keys at home, then that would make sense. But like <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, how the hell would you lose your car key? You found your key, okay. Okay, at least you found your key. Square Enix games are beautiful. Like, nine times out of ten, man. Yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy VII original aside. <laughs> and that had beautiful art for, like, the world and the background and whatnot. It's just, you know, those early character models. Oof. It, uh... Yeah. Square figuring out the uh, 3D modeling took, took a moment. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. I think now we're in the proper game graphics, which still, I mean, obviously don't look as good as the pre-rendered stuff, but still, it doesn't look bad for a PS2 game, man. Found you. Who are you? Yeah, are you controlling the people through VR? So, like I said, I have played this game, I have finished this game, but I don't remember much. <laughs> it's been a long, long time, and my memory doesn't last nearly that long. Okay. So, yeah, so it's a over-the-shoulder 3D shooter. Man, or 3D, whatever. Point is, <laughs> it's a shooting game. It's a lot of fun. We're going to get into it. Of course, you have melee. I don't know off the top of my head how it works. I don't remember. Circle, it looks like, for melee. You also have magic and stuff here. Uh, config, do we have anything? Controller setup. There's the mouse setup. Keyboard setup. Fully rebindable keys, man. For the mouse and keyboard as well. That's really cool. I think our brightness is okay. But if we end up needing to turn it up, someone please let me know. But I think, I think we're good. Uh, status, that's all, whatever. Customize, oh, that's right. You can actually, like, adjust your guns and stuff like that. And, of course, you can get other types of guns later on. Items, machine gun bullets, rifle bullets, handgun bullets, Cerberus, normal barrel. And then you got the map of the area that we're in. This game, uh, <laughs> it's a big departure from Final Fantasy VII. 
You know, it's obviously it's not even close to the same genre. And I think that's probably part of the reason why it never got too much exposure. But I, like I said, I really enjoy it at least. Use items by accessing the item function located within the main menu. Items can also be selected using left and activated using right. The control pad key definition, uh, yeah, to the default settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so up selected map, down does nothing. Left doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, so that changes our weapon, L2 does. R2 reloads, that's a weird reload key. And R1 shoots, triangles menu, circles melee, X is jump, square is charge, <laughs> slash duck, okay. You're at Sierra's mom's, came up this way because she was here since I was low. Was going to get back to the house, then figure everything out, and nope, it clonked out. Bruh. <laughs> I just, like I said, I've just never met someone that runs out of gas nearly as much as you do. I'm glad you're not, like, far from home, at least, though. That's, you know, nice. Press R2 at any time to reload a weapon. Yep, we can do that. We can't, like, pick up his rifle. Okay, so this is still an RPG game, even if it is, you know, a FPS RPG game. So the classic always go the wrong way first definitely still holds. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the four bits. <laughs> you confused us last night with the random one bit, and now you're gonna now you're gonna give us the two, or I'm sorry, the four to make up for it. I'm guessing it hasn't happened in a while now. Yeah, I mean, I get that, Nate, but I'm just I'm just saying. You want to know how many times I've ran out of gas? once <laughs> and that's because the gas gauge of my car is kind of broken <laughs> uh. which way do we want to go i think we probably want to go down this way here it's like always got to go the wrong way got to figure it out you never know what could be down here man this could be the best weapon in the entire game for all i know which does actually remind me um i think if I remember correctly, there's like a toy gun you can get or something like that. And... Uh, the toy gun and like with the right upgrades, it can become like the best weapon in the game or something like that. Maybe... Uh, did, they, did they call it Ultima? I don't know if they called it Ultima or not, but I think that's right. Something along those lines. So it's been a long time, so don't take anything I say as like the word of God, because I don't, <laughs> I don't really remember for sure. That just sounds vaguely correct to me. A toy gun that gets really strong if you upgrade it correctly. Okay, find Reeve. I'm guessing he's right there. <laughs> we shall go that way. You told me you were rebelling last night, and it was terrifying. There were mayflies everywhere. Oh, you mean the the time we ran out of gas? It was terrifying. There was mayflies everywhere. I don't really remember the mayflies, but like, I don't know. They don't really bug me either. They're just <laughs> they're just annoying little flying bugs. Protect the civilians. I think we can we can do that. None of these barrels seem to be. Uh, excuse me, dicks. Why are you just murdering random civilians? That's not that's not cool, dude. And they were all over the car. I really, I, I don't remember the mayflies like at all. I'm sure you're right. I'm sure there were some, and I'm sure they probably were all over the place, but I don't remember them at all, dude. So my memory does not last that long. Unless, like, I don't know. I guess, like, for you, it was probably a bit traumatizing, so I understand it sticking out in your memory, but for me, no. Not even a little bit. What is this? Mako point discovered. Step on these glowing areas to absorb Mako energy. Mako energy is used to power materia equipped to weapons. Press L1 to activate the materia. Do we have any? Oh, there we go. Fire materia. Equip materia to a weapon by accessing the customize function located within the main menu. Use L1 to activate. All right, so right here, this looks like the Mako section. So now we got a magic spell, right? Uh, cutscene? Maybe? Cutscene, yes, okay.
finger itches. There we go. Get fucked. <laughs> Hello? Is that is that it? That's all y'all got? Really? Wow. I was expecting more from you guys. Might as well use the potion since there's another one right there. Okay, we're gonna go back because I think there was another direction we could go, right? And, well, I mean, we've said it like a thousand times already. You gotta go the wrong direction first, guys. Oh, yes, no. I think there are civilians over here. How? Not very nice. Uh, we'll come back for that potion. Can we go down this way? We can. There's all kinds of little hidden passages, aren't there? Sneaky, sneaky. No. Not anymore. <sighs> all right. Come on. Yeah. You just woke up, what's up, peeps? That's fine. I basically just woke up myself, so. <laughs> totally understand, dude. Uh, Nate's out of gas. Noodles complaining about mayflies the one time we ran out of gas and complaining about being tired themselves, so. That's that's basically all you missed. <laughs> not, not a whole lot, man. Hi, child. Uh, you're welcome, little one. Is there anything else that we've missed? Doesn't look like it. 500 gil, though. Hell yeah, we'll take that. And we'll, I guess we'll go ahead and heal. Not that we really need it, but I mean, 40 HP is 40 HP, right? Mm, map? Yes. So is there anything else that we've missed? I think we've gone everywhere at this point yeah it looks like it. okay continue on forward then can we collect any more mako doesn't look like it lame also Hugh's cutie dark guy that is vincent valentine he is a character from final fantasy 7 who got his own spin-off game here durs of cerberus which they went from a full rpg to uh over the sh sh shoulder Holy shit, that was hard to say. <laughs> Over the shoulder shooter. Wow, I cannot talk, man. Uh, anyways, it's a completely different style of game, obviously, for, for Final Fantasy. But it's actually a lot of fun, man. I, uh, I like it a lot. And one of my favorite things about it that I've never got to experience is that it has keyboard and mouse support. I was talking about that earlier. I really, I'm a PC game player, you know? especially for shooters i prefer keyboard and mouse over controller any day of the week i'm not playing with keyboard and mouse right now excuse me but if we ever decide to come back to this game and finish it 100 percent, i'm finding one of my extra keyboards and one of my extra mice that i got and we are using that instead Excuse me, I don't appreciate you shooting people in front of me like that, dude. That was not cool. Are mayflies those giant ass flies? Yes. Uh, Noodle would know more about them than me because she's like traumatized by them or something. <laughs> but yes, they are very large. They're not like, they don't look like traditional flies though. They, uh, they, they like... I don't know, they look different too, but they're harmless. Limit break ready. Activate Vincent's limit break and transform to the powerful Galleon beast by using the limit breaker. I do not remember this part. Vincent will return to his normal form after a set period of time or when the R1 and L1 buttons are pressed simultaneously. Huh. So wait, did we already unlock that or do we need to do anything else with it? I'm assuming it's just automatically unlocked for us. Can we, like, shoot people, please? <laughs> I do appreciate, especially since, like, you know, I'm not very good with a key... I'm sorry, with a controller. Um, I do really appreciate the fact that there is some aim assist. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of, like, heavy aim assist or whatever, but I feel like that's going to be a lifesaver in this situation, man. 
They have big wings and big antenna things that come off their butts and <laughs> only come out at night. Nope, they are a nope. <laughs> big nope. Y'all, they're harmless. They're just little flying bugs. They ain't gonna do nothing to you. Uh, bruh. So the child is clean, the mother not so much. So whatever organization is doing this attacking, I'm guessing... I mean, does it link... I can't remember the story at all. Does it link up with, like, traditional Final Fantasy VII? The original Final Fantasy VII? Is it about, like, who has Genova cells and who doesn't or something? Like, save the abducted girl. Okay, we can, we can try to do that. Why did the mom come as not clean? I don't know. I don't remember, man. Like I said, I, in the original... In Final Fantasy VII, there's there's Genova cells, which are Genova was an alien that crashed Earth a long time ago. Anyways, and and some people are infected with with the cells, mostly through the experimentation from Shinra, the evil organization here, in in the Final Fantasy universe. So maybe it has something to do with that. Where am I being shot from? There you are. I don't remember, though. I'm sure we'll discover more as the game continues, but I can't remember myself, man. Uh, cargo chest. Maybe that'll have... Nope, that didn't have a key card. I need an lay box, please. Oh, I can just push it. Oh, okay. We just, we just had to push buttons. Time? Why is there a timer? What is What is this timer for? Do I need to be doing something else here? I guess maybe I just had to... Oh, hi, dog. <laughs> maybe I just needed to kill everything before the timer ran out? I don't really know what was going on there. All over everything if there is the tiniest bit of light. Like most bugs, they like light. It's not that big of a deal. You gotta switch to your laptop so you can use your phone better. Okay, yeah, that's fine, love. You can switch to your laptop. You're allowed to do such things. <laughs> Health is full. No reason to pull up that potion. Oh, wait a second. What is in... Uh, excuse me. There's definitely something in there. I would like to collect it. That's not annoying or anything. What, what are you? <laughs> I can't seem to jump in there. What if we... What if... Can we jump, like, up on top of something else and then make maybe we're just not jumping high enough nope seems like it's literally inaccessible well i hope that's nothing cool because we can't oh well i shot it and when i shot it it uh it made the game save so maybe it did something i don't know what that is I, it's cool though I hope it did something neat. Should you unplug the speaker or the purifier? Oh, to plug your laptop in? Um, I mean, it don't matter. Whichever whichever you want, man. Speaking of purifier, though, Noodle, we need to get some new things for it. Some new filters for it at some point. The ones that are in it are probably worn out at this point. Locate the card keys, our new objective. So we can get through there. Okay. I imagine that'll be easy enough. Why are you guys being dicks? I don't appreciate you being assholes to all the citizens of whatever town we're in. Is it calm? I think we might be in calm at the moment. You should be all right. <laughs> With the cape, dude. I'm just grabbing the cape like some sort of dick, waving it in their face. Not waving a dick in their face. That would be awkward. But, you know, <laughs> Vincent being a dick. You like Vincent? Of course you do. Equip this item by accessing the customized function. When equipped, press R3 to zoom in on targets lurking in far-off locations. Okay. So, we'll say weapon 2, right? We'll equip fire materia and then add a sniper scope. And then, what was it? Which button? L2 to switch weapons there we go okay and now we can now we can zoom in can we 
play the game in first person? You can. You can play it like a full first person shooter, actually. Oh boy, but the... I don't know what it is, but something feels very wrong about this right now. <laughs> like, I think we'll stay in third person. I, I like first person shooters, don't get me wrong, but something about this game in first person just d d does not feel right, man. I think we'll uh, I think we'll avoid that for now. <laughs> Maybe with a keyboard and mouse it would feel better because the the camera movement would be more fluid. But like, yeah, I don't know. It's like the diagonals. I don't know. I is it is it the left and right speeds different than the, I don't know what it is. Something something's not right there, man. We're just gonna not do that. Uh, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Uh, why am I not? Shoot. There you go. There we go. Oh, oh, there's another one. Got him. Uh, I'm still alive. Oh, you don't know how grateful I am. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Happy I could help you all out. That's what Vincent's here for, to be a savior of the people. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a magic spell. Didn't mean to do that. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Did we do everything? I think we went down here. This is where we got... Or no, this is where we came from? Look, I'm already lost, man. I'm all flipped around backwards. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to punch you, if you don't mind. Thank you. No, never mind. Not the right way. Let's go back. Oh, that's the way we came. And then... Okay, so we'll just follow the right wall. We follow the right wall, we have to make it there eventually, right? That seems... Seems seems reasonable enough. <laughs> are we... Okay, are we all the way back at the beginning again? No, there it is. Thank goodness. We found our way. I'm sure there won't be any enemies inside these tight corridors. <laughs> well, handgun bullets, thanks, man. I wanna, I wanna say the game is feeling a little bit too easy right now, but at the same time, I gotta remember we're still in the first level. Like, it could most definitely get worse later on. Item Phoenix down instantly restores all HP when users KO'd, but I can only hold one at a time. That's sucks. <laughs> Use. Um. Weird. I don't. I don't know how that works. I don't remember. Now that we used it, does that mean that we'll we'll heal instantly if we go down, or would we have? just by having it in our inventory do we heal instantly whenever we go down I honestly don't know how that works equip this item by accessing the customized function the long barrel increases a weapon's power as well as its range so is there any downside to it or should we just always have that one equipped the long barrel instead of the normal barrel the weight goes down WT what does WT stand for Increase the accuracy of most firearms. Oh yeah, okay. It's it's much heavier. It's sixteen hundred weight instead of six hundred with the long barrel. But power increases, speed goes down a little bit. I'm assuming that's because of the extra weight. But range and everything else goes up. So I feel like I feel like we should just have the long barrel equipped, man. And definitely on the sniper one, long barrel, of course. Accuracy over range is the name of the game there. And then we still have the regular one over here if we decide to. That, you know, that extra bit of weight really matters to us. Ooh, a high potion. So does that mean... You can only carry two high potion. Wow, very limiting. It's okay, though. We got this. What? What is going on? Hello, game?
<laughs> I was honestly I was thinking to myself whenever that thing flew over like if they're really gonna try and kill Vincent why wouldn't they just use the flying thing instead of you know dropping soldiers on us or whatever turns out that was the plan all along <laughs> they, they were going to do such a thing which makes sense man honestly too bad my bullets are apparently cannon fire or something because holy hell dude we've already got it down to half health with just a few shots insane oh good more robot soldier people Y'all are kind of annoying. Can we go into beast form here? How do we do that again? Is it just L1, R1? Game, load, please. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know, do I need to equip it or something? Is there, how do I, sorry, item. Limit Breaker. Temporarily induces Limit Break status. Oh. So, it, just like in Final Fantasy proper, we have to earn the Limit Break somehow. Maybe by taking damage. Maybe by doing something. Or maybe we can only do it by... Oh, shit. That's a bomb. By using the Limit Breaker item i really don't know i don't remember at all oh hit him please dragonfly more like dead fly you know what i mean because we're gonna we're gonna kill it more potions I, i'm just trying to make sure that there's nothing like cool hidden in all this cargo bins i feel like i don't know man i feel like we're gonna miss something and then i'm gonna be mad at myself for missing it Uh, get fucked. Oh, hi, guys. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Vincent. Your name's Dead. <laughs> Ooh, slow-mo action shots. Let's go, dude. 2000 cinematography at its finest right there. You really like Vincent? I don't like his shoes. <laughs> they bug me. I like the rest of the design of Vincent, but his shoes bug me. Vincent They're like Valentine. really pointy metal things. It's just weird. We found you. Is this the one? Yeah. Hi, strange girl and buff boy. <laughs> what the fuck is the weird bit? I have no idea, dude. I I don't remember. It's been way too long since I've beaten this game. They might be in the in the the instruction manual because there are like some character explainers in there. Okay, so we must already have a phoenix down active because we can't we can't use it. Guess we'll just uh, what is this? Is this a school or something? Short barrel attained. Short barrel lightens a weapon as well as increases its rate of fire. So that's, you know, close range. So in that case, we should probably go into customize. Take the one that we left just normal, this one, and maybe put short barrel. Decreases range, decreases power, but increases speed and, and technically lowers weight, but lower weight better. So should we just leave this one normal instead of long barrel? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll put the normal barrel back on it. Whatever. I don't know, man. I don't think it really matters. At this stage, the like differences in, in damage that we're doing are so small anyways. It's not going to make a huge, you know, whatever. Hey, there's Beast Boy. 
buff Buffy Beast Boy. Hey, and Weird Girl. The Proto Materia. Tell us where it is. Uh, no. I don't think Hail. I will. Vice. I also don't think I will. Um, let's go into beast mode ourselves, man. I, I, I really don't remember this at all. Cool. Uh, this definitely is not how his limit break worked in Final Fantasy VII. But, hey, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll take it. Can I... Do I have any ranged attack? I do. It's a spell. I can use... I can use magic. Uh, get wrecked. I can't seem to damage them, though. They have some sort of shield thing. Challenge accepted. This way. Suddenly, the girl's very sleepy. <laughs> Vincent Valentine. That's me. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Breathe. Nice to see you again. Not a very interesting outfit, though. <laughs> it took me a while to decide which costume I'd put on for today. But enough of the small talk. Who are those soldiers that just left? I don't know. The large one called himself Azul. Do you like Reeve, though? I think you just like Tetsuya Nomura's character design in general. Commissioner! <laughs> we'll discuss this later. Probably true, yeah. <laughs> That's what it seems like to me. We could use your help, Vincent. Breathe. Hmm? I don't know what you're up to, but I want absolutely no part of it. But you fought alongside us three years ago. We need your help once more. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> nice knowing you, Reeve. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. Ah, I never was good at fighting. What Say hello to Kate. Wearing Reeve. You're really not a bad bloke, are you, Vincent? Ah, you pretend not to care, but you always come through in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome right. to Final Fantasy VII. What do you want me to do? Let's run those lads out of town. I'll leave the method up to you. When you've tidied things up, meet me at the square in front of the East Church. Reeve is a cat. Uh, no. <laughs> Reeve. <laughs> Kate Seth is a remote control cat. Um, controlled by Reeve. <laughs> he just... So Reeve is remote controlling a cat that was controlling... A body double of himself <laughs> because you know shenanigans <laughs> that's yeah that's that's what was going on there it's weird but you know <laughs> also it looks like our magic has some homing properties so that was cool what kind of inception bullshit is that yeah dude that's uh I don't know you just get used to that sort of thing in the Final Fantasy 7 universe Honestly, it's fine. 
Uh, let's try the short barrel out. We, there it is. Okay, yeah, so definitely shoots faster, but I don't know if it's actually any better or not. It's dropping a shit ton of potions, dude. I can't help but notice there are potions everywhere. Yeah, I feel like I feel like honestly, the long barrel is probably the way to go here, man. Like that extra the extra damage output and whatnot, even if it is slower. Uh, maybe it's not that big of a difference. Like it still seems to be taking two shots on average to kill someone. Are we just fighting forever or do I need to like go somewhere? Are you are you never ending enemy spawns or what are you? Yeah, use a potion to pick up a potion. That's fine. Okay, hold on. Let's... First off, you can die. Uh, map. Where are we going? What are we doing? We are there. We need to get over there. Proceed to the church and rendezvous with the WRO. Yeah, I think these are just never-ending spawns. So we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and skedaddle on out of here. Just exploring a little bit as we go. Kicking this dude's ass in particular because he's annoying me. Ow. I don't appreciate being shot, especially in the back, dudes. Like, you can keep your bullets to yourself if you like. No one, no one minds, I promise. You're dead. That's honestly what you get. What's wrong? Hi there. Oh, never mind. You're good soldiers. <laughs> I'll try not to shoot you. I think you're on my side, not the other way around. Okay, hopefully since we let those soldiers in, we won't have to deal with them as much anymore. But, is there any, like, cool items or anything that we're missing? Anything to find? Secrets, please? Probably not. No, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like there's any, any interesting secrets. Um... Look, you just gotta shoot him like that, dude. What kind of soldiers are you? Anyways. I left a bunch of potions behind for you guys in case, you know, you get you, you, you get a little hurt or something like that. Feel free to take them. I'm I've seemingly invincible, so, like, <laughs> I don't need them. You can use them up, man. Genesis organization. Speak with me if you require any assistance. Request supplies, information on the W directions to the church. Um information first. Sir. The WRO was originally established three years ago after meeting a fall. With Genova war hero Reeve Chuesti at its helm, our organization is dedicated to aiding the healing process of the planet. As well as protecting it from any who attempt further harm. So the Meteor Fall event was the end of Final Fantasy VII. The original Final Fantasy VII. Just, just in case that wasn't clear. Uh, supplies, I guess. Sir. I'm assuming you're probably just gonna... Oh no, you actually have some like stuff. What is this? Nutritious diet supplement developed by WRO scientists instantly restores a few HP. I mean, we're good on that though. And a few MP. I mean, we have, like, potions and stuff, so I don't think we actually need any of that. Um, sell? Is there anything? I mean, we could sell some potions, since there is a shit ton of them just sitting around back there. And we haven't really ran out of them yet, but the fact that there's a max of only four that we can carry makes me not really want to sell this stuff, though. So I think, I think we're just going to hold off. I don't see the point in any of the rations, though. How much are they? They're free. Well, since they're free, I mean, <laughs> I guess there's no reason not to buy them. Directions to the church. Why not? Just see what he says. You might get to use your laptop. What's wrong with your laptop? Hurry, we will assist you in securing the area. Okay. Here. Well, thank you, sir. I would like to uh, continue on to where I'm supposed to be going then, if you don't mind. 
Yep, salute to you two and all that stuff. You have returned. Welcome back, Nate. Griffin X1. Equip this item by accessing the customized function. Blah, blah, blah. Machine gun type frame is capable of rapid fire. We got our first new gun type. Like, actual new gun type. So, okay. So, weapon three. The one with the short barrel. Instead of that, I would much rather, I think, have the Griffin. And honestly, just the normal barrel. Like, it already shoots fast enough. Oh. Uh, I mean, it does reduce... Just the weight, though, and I still don't really know what weight does. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Might as well as equip the sniper barrel, right? Or the sniper scope, I mean. I, 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 I'm sure weight does something that I'm probably not realizing, but whatever, man. It's fine. So what do we got? We got number three is our machine gun. One is our standard. Two is long. Okay. Let's try out the machine gun. Uh, right wall? Where's the map? I also appreciate in this game, something that not a whole lot of games did at the time, but I do appreciate in this game there's the temp save function there as well. Game. Alright, men. Watch your back. Has Alpha Root been secured? Any word from the battalion? Safety of the residents is our top priority. <sighs> deep ground. Uh, deep ground to you too. I don't know what that means. Anyways, uh, I was trying to say the fact that it has a temp save function so that like if you're in the middle of a mission and You need to to quit for whatever reason you can just do the the temp save to, to get out of it And then whenever you come back, you know, you just load from that temporary save and continue on with your life I appreciate that I would prefer just being able to save anywhere you know, a full save but I will take a temp save over 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 nothing for sure um, is that all you're giving me is just a good luck? You can't, like, I don't know, give me a full item or weapon or something? It's fine. You know what? It's, I'll just, it, I don't, I don't need your stuff anyways. I got this. Just deal with them all by myself. Throw myself in, in harm's way for you people. On, on a mission that I really don't even understand. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Mr. Weird Soldier People. That's fine, yeah. Just don't focus on the guy right behind you that's <laughs> shooting you in the back. Just focus instead on on the people in front of you. I mean, to be fair, I guess if you turned around to deal with me, they would be shooting you in the back. So no matter what, you were kind of, kind of fucked. Reload. Okay, so yeah, I don't... Ah, oh, I... I did not mean to use that high potion. Uh, L1, that's what I was trying to do. I wanted to get back to just the regular handgun. The machine gun's fine. I'm glad we got it, but I definitely prefer the regular handgun. At least so far. Ooh, cargo. I do like me some cargo, man. With a card key <laughs> hidden in it, because, you know, that's what you do with cargo bins. Cerberus Relief. What is that? Is that a new materia? Slightly increases defense. Oh, so instead of a magic spell, we just have more defense. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking maybe here on the machine gun. Because my idea is on the machine gun, we'll probably have, like, be up close and personal to people, right? And if that's the case, we're probably going to be taking a lot of hits. So we'll put it there. So, and if we're going to make this focus on short range, I'm sorry, on, on just rapid fire, close combat, should probably go ahead and put the short barrel on it too, actually. I'm going to remove the sniper scope. I don't know. I still don't know what the weight does, but whatever. It's fine. But I'll keep the fire spell on the rest of it, though. 500 gil. And another card key. Hell yeah. Would have been funny if they just didn't put another card key there. And they were like, well, here's 500 gil, but you're fucked. You can't finish the game now. <laughs> you should have enough to get to the gas station. Just wait on a message. You can hopefully grab like 10 bucks and gas to dash. I'm glad you got it figured out, man, honestly. 
being stranded wherever you are uh, would not <laughs> be a fun time. Snipers on the roofs. Where? Oh, I think I see them. Shh. Oh, nope. You know what helps? If you, like, zoom in a little bit, dude. Take out his foot. Is there another one over there somewhere? There is, right? I think. I think I saw. There he is. Goodbye. You're still going to be hella worried? About what? About Nate? Or, like... <laughs> ah! Sniper! Where did that shot come from? Oh, it's not even a sniper. It's just a dude. I guess you're technically a sniper, but you're trash sniper. Uh, do you want to... Look, I am locked on. Just die. <laughs> Nate, tell Rue you're going to be okay. They are worried about you. I saw something on the ledge beside us here. Can we maybe jump over there? Uh, uh, hello, game. Thank you. There we go. The running around definitely feels better when we don't have the aiming reticule up. Oh, it's just handgun bullets. I mean, we'll take it gladly. More ammo's better all the time. I can't think of any situation why you would want less. Unless, like, it had weight or something. But as far as I know, there, that's not a, the case in this game. There is no ammo weight. What kind of BS would that be? Mm. Protein shake for breakfast, because I got up at 11.45 <laughs> to stream at 12. Because that's how that works, man. Also, welcome back, uh, Firefly or whatever your name was. I think Firefly, right? Dragonfly, Dragonfly, Dragonfly GL. Um, this seems like a good use for a machine gun that does like no damage actually. So never mind, I take that back. Yeah, there we go. Get fucked, Dragonfly. <laughs> I want to break these. Co oh, hi. Is there... Oh, squares to dodge. That's what the dash is. I'm an idiot. I was like... Earlier, I was trying to figure out what the hell, like, the dash was for. Like, can we break through things or something? What What is the point of it? Well, it's for whenever someone's about to hit you, you can get the fuck out of the way, dumbass. <laughs> that makes total sense, actually. Yep. Uh, anything neat in the cargo? Just just potions? I mean, I will take some potion, I guess. I kind of regret going on normal mode, honestly. Again, I got to keep reminding myself we're still only in the first, like, you know, mission, second mission of the game or whatever. So it could still get a lot harder as time goes on. But so far, it's just been so easy. <laughs> You'll be all right. Just got to get some gas to dash. You're not stranded in the middle of nowhere. This time you're right by your fiance's mom. True, true, true. You did say that earlier. And a dragonfly be dead. Phoenix down? Oh, we can't use one because we've already used one. You are dead, right? Okay. Maybe I had to. Maybe I had to smack it one more time. Uh, how did we get up there? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened there. Just kind of appeared on the rooftops, as you do. Beastie boy, tearing that ship right up, dude. Ain't coming back from the dead this time, dragonfly. I mean, you guys just watched me take down an entire drone on my own. Do you really want to be walking up in here? Do you really think that's going to work out for you? Hint, it's not. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are you trapped, Noodle? You stuck in a prison over there? <laughs> uh. Is that the actual reef this time? There's only one way to find out, man. Wait for him to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like the Fall Guy characters or something? Is that is that what's going on here? Silent cutscenes, the best. Fall winning, hell yeah. They weren't Good there work, before. Vincent. Well, there was a the Fall Guys free. update recently, Seems so it's probably like for that. Good. However, we still require your assistance. Reports our edge is under attack. Tatsuya Nomura has some some thing. For, for emo boys, man. Which I'm sure you guys don't mind too much. But it's to say with like Cloud and now Vincent in this one. Like the main protagonist in, in his uh, games just have to be emo boys. Except for Sora. Sora's, Sora's a happy boy most of the time. But... <laughs> hey, we got an A rank. Cool. I'm assuming S is the best. So not the best we could have done. But Magic casted 9. That gave us an S rank. Does that mean the more magic the better? Or... The less magic, the better. Critical hits, 59. Damage sustained. Okay, so we probably wanted that to be lower. Our accuracy was fine. Items used 18. So that actually hurt us. So we should just leave the potions on the ground if we want to get the max rank. And then it is timed, too, which... Okay, whatever. Oh, we get, we get money. We get paid for our missions. That makes sense. Calculating points. Okay. Exchange experience for Gil or add experience to total. Why wouldn't you take the level up? I guess, okay, so there are weapons and things you can buy, I think. And, and and you know, customization options for your weapons and shit like that. So I guess maybe that's why, but uh, no, we're, we'll, we'll take the experience points. There we go, yeah, see? So we have, like, handgun bullets, Cerberus, designed for neutralizing close and medium-range targets. This handgun frame is capable of simultaneously firing three rounds of ammunition. Griffin is the one that we already got. Sniper scopes, uh, fire material. Okay, so the only new thing here is Cerberus. Or is Cerberus the... Is that the one we already have? Find three rounds in. What's what's our gun that we have right now called? Is it just called a normal gun? I don't know. Whatever, we'll buy one. Screw it. What do I care? Modify though. Oh shit, we did already have Cerberus. <laughs> so here's where you can upgrade stuff though. This is where I feel like the bulk of the money is probably gonna end up being spent. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh I prefer Cerberus, so we're definitely gonna go ahead and upgrade that. And then we don't have enough to upgrade two to three. I don't care about Griffin, so I'm just going to leave that. Additional firepower has been added to the mid-size barrel. Um, hmm. Do we want to upgrade these as well? Which ones? I guess you know what? We'll do the we'll do the normal barrel and the long barrel, and then we'll leave the rest. Sell the regular Cerberus cuz I'm an idiot and we shouldn't have bought it to begin with. And I think I think that's all we want to do. Okay. Cool, cool. Quit and exit the shop. Yes. <laughs> you just switched to mod view and it's a lot? Yeah. Toss me another clip. Welcome to mod view, man. Oh good. People are just randomly disappearing. That's perfectly normal too. You're not sure how to go back. Oh, Lord. I'm getting ready to take a break. If you need me to, I can help you. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. Where did everyone go? 
uh, darkness. Hi there, uh, barely clothed lady. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Do I stay here? <laughs> you can. There's no reason to leave it unless you want to. She be fast, bro. I think you all just lost your heads. They wouldn't last a day in deep Dun dun dun. <laughs> Showdown in the wastes. Hope you don't break anything. Problem solved. Break. Just don't. That's all you gotta do. Man. If you don't Deep break anything, you don't soldiers. break anything. Deep ground. Yes. The shadow of the Shinra Company, constructed by the former president, and completely hidden from the rest of the world. What are my plans for break? Grab a kiwi, eat it, and uh, run the ad. Superhuman warriors, not once letting morality interfere. The man you met earlier, Azul is also a member of Deep Ground, but he belongs to an elite unit known as the Sviets. The whole organization was kept a secret. That's why there's so little information on them. However, it's nothing like I expected. Was there something else I should have been doing on break? No. Other than the president himself, the only people who knew of Deep Ground's existence were most likely Heidegger, Scarlet, and the head of biochemical research, Hojo. See, I realize for people that death, haven't played Final, Final Fantasy VII, all these names are going to mean like nothing to you. <laughs> but a lot of these names came from Final me, Fantasy VII. Just let that be known. No basis, Old enemies, yeah, 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 a lot of them are. I I wasn't on their list. All the intel we currently have on Deep Ground was only discovered recently when we came across some of Scarlet's old files. Vincent, have you heard of the mass disappearance that occurred recently in Juno? Hmm. I remember the report saying that 20 or 30 people suddenly vanished. Kind of. Yes and no. He was helping out the group uh, of, like, heroes, but also, like, he was an inside man, basically, right? Um, I do think he was originally helping them out, but then he kind of saw the error in his ways, and yeah. Twelve hundred people simply vanished without a single trace. The WRO conducted a private investigation, but we came up empty-handed. Except for the rumors. Since the Junon disappearances, people in Edge have been on edge. People in Edge have been on edge. You can hear screams yep. coming from the direction of Midgar. Could it be the wind? Let me ask you, does the wind sound like a thousand wailing souls? Midgar, by the way, is the city in the Final Fantasy VII Remake that we've played a couple times. Um, that's the city we're in there is Midgar in that game. The cries. Commissioner, the rogue transmission is being broadcast on all wavelengths. Obviously, though, that's Midgar, like, in the past, not Midgar At now. Last. The time has come to cleanse this world. That be bad guy. He's a nice guy. <laughs> I think he just likes gloating, Rue. <laughs> <Like, laughs> 
I think that's his whole thing. He just wants to sit there and, and talk shit. What was that? <laughs> jump cut, jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. Dope. Ooh, I get a fancy gun. Let's go. Good to know we can pause cutscenes. I was actually just trying to pause the game, but I am happy to know that we can pause cutscenes if we need to. Um, what we do need to do is pause the game because, guys, it's time for a break. I, uh, <laughs> I had to use one of the snoozes because that cutscene took way longer than I was hoping it would. Um... But we're going to go ahead and take our first break of the day just for like five minutes uh, while we run the ad that Twitch has been trying to get me to run. And as I mentioned to Noodle, grab myself a kiwi and uh, probably fill up my water. I suggest you guys do the same. If you have a kiwi, grab one. They're good. They're delicious. Eat them. They're high in potassium, more so than bananas per pound, if I remember correctly. Anyways, good stuff. Go do that. We'll be back for another like 45 minutes-ish, a little less of Durza Cerberus here in a few minutes, guys. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I got my kiwi. I got some water. We are ready to go. It was a couple minutes longer than I planned, so I apologize for that. But I had to get my stuff. Oh, shit. We're supposed to be shooting. Can't eat kiwi. Gotta shoot. <laughs> uh, dogs, I need you to die. Our score is going to be terrible because accuracy is not going to be a thing here. Considering we have, like, infinite ammo... I'm not worrying at all. Like, just shoot everything. Uh, try to shoot everything. Probably miss most of it horribly. You gotta work in like an hour? That sucks, dude. I really am sorry to hear that. Work sucks. Uh, I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember how any more of that goes, but, you know, I get it. Hopefully wherever you work. It's a uh, short and easy shift for you today, man. Without too many assholes to deal with, if you have to deal with assholes in your job. Yes, boo. I double noodles uh, sentiment there. Boo on that. <laughs> uh. Vincent. <laughs> okay, you got that bad cough. Might need to call in. Stop being a bad influence, sir. <laughs> Look, work sucks. I agree. I wish no one ever had to do it, but it is what it is, man. You gotta work. You gotta work. Ow. Hi, doggies. So, I mean, it seems like it'd probably be better just to... Uh, beat the, the shit out of all of them that come up here? Is there any point in, like, shooting them while they're down there? Like, are they, are they all gonna come on to the, to the thing here? Oh, I guess they are. Oh, shit, we're actually really low on health. I didn't realize how low we were. So, <laughs> that's a thing. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. One high potion. Fix this up real quick. Try and take a bite of this kiwi real quick. Like an apple. Dude. You just bite into it delicious mm, juicy you were hoping they were gonna jump it oh they jumped it man I'll be fine but that's more than I can say for the engine Vincent if possible I want you to continue on to Edge. That transmission we just saw troubles me. Once I have repaired the Shadow Fox, I'll need to return to... You mean that transmission you just received the didn't fill you with a, a, good, a nice sense of calm? Join them and help liberate the city. I 
guess I have no choice. Mm -mm. Okay. Got like one bite left in this kiwi. Mm. Throw the end in the trash. Because they're hard, you can't really eat those. Wipe off the mouth. Because it'd be juicy. And alright, let's go. Collect the Mako. I thought we really need it, but apparently it's a uh, part of our score. Secrets? Or wait, are we supposed to go that way? Which way do we go? Oh no, I'm guessing we're probably meant to go forward, not backwards. So we're gonna go this way first. I see another Mako point. Two more Mako points. Again, not that we really need them, but it seems to help with our end of level rank. Ooh, what are you? Is that another one of those things that we can't collect, but we can shoot? What are those? I mean, we'll shoot it. it again, it's saved whenever we shot it, so it must do something. Hmm. I don't know, man. The only way to find out is to keep playing. Or Google it, I guess. Like, that's a thing, too. But no. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we'll just keep playing. See what happens. This uh, hill looks way too steep to be running up the way that we are. I would be dying. Like, out of breath, on the ground. There's no way. Hi, dog. You look friendly. Oh, good. You... you you brought your friends too. That's that's good. I'm sure they're all they're all very friendly people as well, right? Absolutely no reason to be <laughs> worried at all. Uh Vincent, freaking do something, man. Where where are they? Uh hello, doggos. Okay, we'll just keep following the left wall. Magic seems to be working wonders. Oh, we're looking for you. Um. Well, that was... <laughs> that was a little too easy, honestly. I was expecting a bit of a harder fight, you know, with the way they were, they were building it up and everything. Uh, that's the way we came from, right? Map. Or no. Yes. Yes. So, I'm assuming using the card key there would be a bad thing? Because the card key seems to be like a one-time use sort of deal? But now I kind of want to. I'm curious. What would happen if we did now? Would we be soft-locked? Will there be another card key? New secrets to collect? Or does the card key actually work more than once and we just are dumb. Oh, dude, there's another one of those things, though. I don't think that was there before. Some, or maybe it was and we just didn't see it. I guess that's definitely a possibility. What are they? We're gonna have to end up Googling it, man, because it's gonna bug the hell out of me not knowing what they do. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm <laughs> I was trying to resist the temptation, but it's too strong. Dirge of Cerberus uh vials Memory capsules. Oh, in the Dirge of Cerberus main story you might come across a small capsule looking thing. This is a hidden memory capsule. There's eighty two of them hidden very well in the game. They're used to unlock the OMV found throughout the game. Each time you shoot a capsule, the game will save the data. When you defeat the story mode, you can then access the event viewer and see the OMVs without having to play the game. Okay, so it's just it's just a way to rewatch the cutscenes. That's all. Not not actually that big of a deal, but a neat thing anyways, I guess, you know? Red potion. Wait, what is red potion? When did we pick that up? 
Excuse me. One moment. Blood Red Potion instantly restores a random amount of HP. Okay. Honestly, into it. I can get into that, man. Could be a full heal. Could heal one. Who knows? <laughs> Only way to find out is to try. It looks like when we used that uh, key card back there, it did both at the same time. So that, that makes sense. Oh, dude. You don't mess with Vincent. He'll fuck your day up, man. Big open area. I'm sure there's not going to be any sort of fight here. Yep. <laughs> Hi. You guys look friend. Ow. <laughs> Was I not supposed to get out of the circle? <laughs> I think I think I was supposed to be trapped within. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> nope. They can they can move. I was like, are they just gonna go in a circle forever? Cause like that seems kind of dumb, man. I ain't. <laughs> I'm not gonna just sit in the circle and let y'all shoot at me or whatever. Okay, that was that was surprisingly easy, honestly. So, note to self, what we need to remember if we ever come back to this game later. Uh, or whenever we do, because there's a decent chance we will. Uh, we need to up the difficulty. We need to get a keyboard and mouse, plug that into the PS2, and we need to up the difficulty and play on hard mode, because... Honestly, yeah, dude, the game's just not that hard. Watch, though, like, we're gonna do that and then get halfway through the game and there's just gonna be a giant spike difficulty spike this way <laughs> 42 of 70 oh so if we killed more we would have got more oh well i was worried about my accuracy bonus being really low but maybe it didn't matter for for that section experience for eleven thousand five hundred and ten gil i mean that is a lot man but no we're gonna we're gonna take the experience though should we do the other one? Because, I mean, we could, like, max out our, our stuff. Oh, that's right. We got that new materia, too. But I don't I don't know if it's really worth it or not. Red potion only sells for 10. The rations sell for fuck all. That makes sense. Oh, man, we didn't even get 5,000 to upgrade that. That sucks. Service relief can be upgraded, but the other materia can't. Weird. That's fine. Whatever. Yep. Quit and exit shop. On to the next one. Looks like a uh, friendly place. Silent Edge. Looking a little more like Silent Hill, you know what I mean? Huh? Huh? <laughs> God. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Strangled and slaughtered, beaten, stabbed and crushed, garroted and impaled, shot and executed without mercy. All right, someone's a fangirl here. Sad I wonder if this will be a little more amusing than last time. Uh, fangirl not too nice, though. Just took out, like, half of the WRO. <laughs> Your WRO. Who's asking? Vincent Valentine. Sexy doctor question mark. My apologies. Shalua Rui of the WRO. The commissioner has told me much about you. 
what happened here. <laughs> the outfits that Tetsuya no more has been up just <laughs> make no sense, man. <laughs> I'm here I'm just, right. I'm just looking at her outfit, and it's just, it's incredible. That's no <laughs> the squads that were sent in to fight them. Guessing she only has one. I, I don't know if they ever talk about that or not. I don't remember, to be honest. Well, this is getting us nowhere. I'm guessing like you're said, correct too, but I don't. I'll see you around. Business. The commissioner keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. My time searching. Searching for what? For my reason to live. Where are my pretty bits? My pretty bits are gone. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, love. <laughs> I think I think that's more of a private conversation there than a uh, Twitch chat conversation. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm guessing what you're saying is in mod view you you can't see the 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 option to, to donate bits I can't I don't know you can't even eye roll oh do you mean your emotes like all the emotes are gone well you can eye roll you just hold the windows key and press period and that brings up the emote menu in windows so you can do eye roll there oh you just mean emotes in general is that is that what you're talking about? Like because you're on your laptop, so you can't you can't use emotes, emojis. You just hold Windows key and press period, and that uh, that brings up the uh, the Windows emoji menu. And uh, as far as being able to donate bits, like you should still be able to donate bits with whatever Twitch emote you want. Granted, I don't know a whole lot about. You know, mod menu. I'm only a mod on my own channel. <laughs> well, I might be a mod on, like, my brothers or something like that. But they basically never stream. So, I mean, yeah. Don't really know much about the mod view, TBH. Anyways, how's it a private one? What are these bits? What, what, what are, what are pretty bits? I don't, that's actually what I was asking. I don't know either, man. Hi there. A person on the ground. They're not pretty like on my phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pushed by a soldier in red. I'm a soldier in red. Did I ambush you? Thank you for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate you, love. Hey, one of them even made it in the cup. Look at that. See, gross. <laughs> they're still bits. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're triangles or not. Did you do that one from your phone or your... Okay, I'm guessing you did that from your own phone. Well, thank you for the five more bits, love. <laughs> oh. You can donate all the bits you want to prove your point. That's fine with me, man. <laughs> Key card or card key whatever same thing very spoopy very mysterious soldiers in red crazy dogs people disappearing it's a mystery man let me tell you uh hi can we okay we must be able to get around somehow Let's just keep following i don't know if i really was doing anything in particular but we'll just start following the left hand wall and hoping for the best I guess uh grab nope we already grabbed that Mako at some point there was that like walkway that we could ow that would have taken us up in the air a little bit maybe that's the way to go you know a comparison that I never thought of that kind of makes sense for this game devil may cry like it's a brawler kind of right like you do have that 
but then you have guns and honestly like vincent kind of reminds me of dante a little bit in design and stuff like that though with that said i would like to point out that um final fantasy 7 came out way before devil may cry so if anything dante looks like vincent i guess but anyways ew what is that you don't like pc that is i think just the one that you picked because like I use emojis in chat and they don't look like that. Uh, I'm sure there are probably secrets hidden all over the place here, but like, I don't know, man. I'm already so backwards and confused. Okay, well, a dog came from over here, so I'm guessing we need to go this way. Or wait, no. We've gotten that Mako point before, so it's not that one. It was all colorful when you picked it? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Look here, see, I will click there. Windows key, period. And then click on the eye roll emoji and enter. Look at that. <laughs> it's an eye roll emoji. So I don't know what's going on with yours. I am so lost. Machine gun bullets times 60. I mean, thanks, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, hi, more dogs. These dogs are just going to keep spawning forever, aren't they? Until we figure out something to do with them. More handgun bullets. That's fine. Oh, a jukebox. Oh, it's a shop. <laughs> Not a jukebox. My bad. Close enough. We need... What we really need is like... Oh, we still have that thunder material we need to set. Customize. Which one do we want Thunder on? I guess... I don't know what the range is on Thunder, so I'm going to equip it to our main weapon for now. And then... I don't know. Like, if it's, if it's long range and instant, then it would probably be better on the sniper rifle variant. But if it only works in close combat then obviously we're probably going to want to keep it on our, our regular handgun here. Um, okay, that was literally a useless use of that key card. Hello? A oh, door. There's a door here. I'm an idiot. That... <laughs> I was like, wow, we literally just threw away our key card for no reason, huh? Nope, There, there's a door there. Hey, Loveless. Items, thanks. Hydra, Hydra frame obtained. This rifle type frame allows for improved accuracy when firing at distant targets. Okay, so we want to replace our sniper rifle variant basically with that is what the game is telling us. Instead of Cerberus, we probably want to use Hydra, which increases the power a lot, decreases speed, but whatever, uh, but also increases range a lot. So yeah. Hydra's probably the way to go for a sniper rifle. <laughs> oh, shit. We have, like, no rifle ammo. But I'm assuming now that we have... That was a magic spell. I'm assuming now that we have the, the rifle variant, we'll start picking up rifle ammunition, though. Yeah, see? There it is. <laughs> Open. Oh, now it works. <laughs> I told you. You must have just picked a weird one or something. I don't I don't really know what happened, but... Because it definitely works. I do it all the time, dude. Close quarter doggies. Doggos. It's just stupid. It is, love. I'm, I'm sorry. What time is it? It is 13.54. Um... Uh... Tell you what, we'll do whatever this next encounter section is here, which I think, if I remember correctly, might be where we get the toy gun. And then uh, we're going to save, take a break, and swap on over to the next game, which I believe is going to be Stardew Valley. Remember, guys, we are the reason why we're playing the games that we're playing. Um, outside of this one, which just counts as a random PS2 game, which we're going to keep doing, uh, is because we are adding a new category that we're going to be streaming. We're not getting rid of any of the content that we're currently doing. We're going to be doing just as much of that. 
but we're going to be adding a new stream every week, a, a, uh, a new category. And I'm doing a poll to see what everyone most wants to, to watch. And they are, oh geez, I don't remember the exact categories. But the point is, <laughs> oh, I think that is long range and instant. Anyways, uh, but all of the games that we're streaming today line up with those categories. Just to give everyone a chance to kind of see what they maybe like or don't like. So that whenever round two and three of the poll happens, they'll have a better idea on what they want to vote for. So that we can decide what we want to play in the future for for quite a while, man. Because the, the plan is, is to do it for six months to a, a year. And if it goes well, the category that is voted on, we'll just keep doing that one for basically ever. If it doesn't go too well, then we'll switch to, to maybe a new category from the list. Probably have like another poll to decide or whatever. Eventually, I want to do all of the categories, honestly. But uh, that is dependent on, you know, being able to. Because I do work a full-time job. So I can only stream so much in a week and still pay my bills. <laughs> you got to get ready for work, guys. Be back as soon as you get there. If you have to go, <laughs> I don't know what what your your job's like, but if you if you can't watch the stream while you're at work, I totally understand, dude. But I appreciate you being here, Rue, as much as you can be, honestly. Uh, where art thou, sniper? I hear shots. I see shots. There you are. Hi, friendo. Is there another one? Is that it? That might have been it. Hello, child. Open door. Uh, child? I'm not, I'm not bad guy. I good guy. I promise. I mean, <laughs> sure, a guy like this shows up with a gun in your face. I probably wouldn't believe them either. But, <laughs> but I really am a good guy. I promise. I'm not, I'm not with these, uh, these assholes that are shooting at you. Also, health be low. We should probably use a potion. Do we use the red potion? Screw it. Hey, that worked out well for us, actually. A shop again. I'm surprised the shops are showing up so much. Um, I'm going to focus all of my money on Cerberus, I think. Because that is by far my favorite weapon. It's just the regular hand. Oh, I did it again. I don't like the way you switch weapons. It confuses me. I keep using magic spells and I'm not trying to. Okay, so we got a... Uh... Man, I was hoping that's where we got the toy gun. But I guess not. We just got a, a potion and some more money, I think it was. Tis fine. Oh, oh, hi, child. Don't let him uh, do let him escape, because if you don't, I will shoot you in the ass. How about that? <laughs> okay, where'd the kid go? Oh, I heard him. Ah, oh, shit, I heard him, but I didn't see where he went. I mean, he was definitely running to the left at one point. So we'll just keep circling around here. Oh, there he is. Hi, child. This is where you, you give me the toy gun. Please and thank you. You're welcome, dude. The warehouse. I I know how to get there. Well, spit it, it out. Again. Come on. You have the car key? Come on. I know someone who does. Follow me. You run weird as hell, little dude. I just want you to know that. It's so damn hot out, you're not kidding. I haven't stepped outside today, and I don't plan on it, honestly. Because, holy hell no, man. I am good on all of that. 
it is way too hot for me to even consider. <laughs> if I don't have to be outside today, I am not. It's what? It's like 90 some degrees. Probably feels like 100 with the, the sun out there or over 100. Yeah, I'll pass on that, man. I know my air conditioner is struggling to keep it cool in my house, so that means it's too damn hot outside. That's <laughs> that's all I know, man. We are good on the rest. We will spend some time outside virtually in Stardew Valley, which is the game that we are getting ready to switch over to right now. We're going to go to our break. Uh, checking my phone because I have like a million notifications and absolutely none of them are important. So... Yeah, so not worried about any of that. Anyways, we're going to switch on over to the break screen for like five minutes while I switch over to Stardew Valley. And then what, what's what's up on the list after that? Let me pull up the list of everything in the order that we're playing it. Okay, so we, we just finished up with our random PS2 game. Then we're doing Stardew Valley. And then we'll be doing some Deepest Sword Speed runs. And around that time is probably when I'll be eating lunch. Uh, so we'll take a little bit of an extended break there. I'll probably be here talking to y'all while I, while I eat or whatever but a little bit of a break at the end of the Deepest Sword speedruns. And then we're going to be doing RimWorld, which honestly I am super excited for, not going to lie. Uh, and then Mario Odyssey and, of course, Fable, which was requested by Nate for us to play. So, yeah, stick around for that, I guess, guys. I don't really know what to say. Anyways, thank you for being here with me so far. We will be back in just a few minutes as I switch over to Stardew Valley. <laughs> 